So this is interesting, so I just thought I'd do a a video on it. So we've got a this is a a Gen 2 Prius. Uh, sort of, you know. So the square batteries. Uh, <coughs> a lot of people think these are Gen 1s, but it's actually a Gen. Oh, no point in showing me the front because I've replaced it with a Gen 1 front. But uh, there you go. Anyway. So we've got the back brakes, and what it is is that the bearings are gone. It's, uh, I don't know if there's a score or a flat roller or something like that, but basically it just it winds. So we've got a worn bearing and it feels a bit sticky, you know, and I can feel it grating. So I think if it's on both, that's, well, it's the equal wear. Uh, and it's a sealed unit, the whole thing is a sealed unit, you have to replace the whole thing which is 200 pounds each side okay <laughs> that's 200 pound each side just to do the bearing normally bearings are about what say 30 or 40 quid yeah 200 quid great thanks that's 400 pounds plus the time it takes to do it you pay Toyota to do it I don't think you'd have much change out of a grand two back bearings but anyway as you can see we have a shoe Okay, so you think, okay, yeah, drum brakes. Yeah, right, okay, right. And then we have also a caliper. As you can see, there's the lugs where it fastens. So we've got a drum and a disc. Okay, so this is the same hub. I'm not, like, swapping in a picture from something else. It's not, auto, you know, it's not photoshopped or anything. Yes, they do have both a drum and a disc. <laughs> Can you believe it? They've actually incorporated both. Right? So, why have they done that? You think, okay, right, that gives it a bit of extra braking power. Well, no, because obviously the disc would be far more powerful than the drum. Right? No, the reason why, right, is because of the issue with using a, a handbrake on a disc brake. Okay, because it's an issue with actually making it so that it clamps it and so rather than actually try and deal with it and a lot of cars have disc brakes on the back and they have a handbrake which is attached to the disc brake caliper you know they they work it out basically <laughs> you know now these guys basically have designed it with both okay <laughs> so if you find that your brakes seem to work fine but the handbrake is really really poor which wouldn't make sense really then the reason why is because your shoes have worn. 